Welcome to the season premiere for season eight of Sporting Dog Adventures presented by Heavy Shot. On this week's show, we're on a waterfall hunt with Sean Wozniak of Mech Shooting Sports. We're headed to Saskatchewan, one of my favorite places to hunt. Stay tuned for our upcoming High Flying Adventures. Looking like he's got one more good run. Sips a little shaky, but his heart is still true. Oh, how that dog loves hunting with me and you. Sporting dog adventures, run, boy, run. Everything you need is here under the sun. Season 8 is here and I couldn't be more excited. We are headed off to one of my favorite places to hunt, Saskatchewan, Canada. Past trips have been great and we're expecting more of the same. In past hunts, the dogs have shown their training and quality breeding as they were put to the test on multiple fronts. They've run long blind retrieves, multiple marks, and these hunts set apart a good dog from an average dog. Hey, we're heading to Saskatchewan, first hunt of the year. I'm with Sean Wozniak from Mech Shooting Sports. We are going to be hunting ducks and geese, and the report is it's very dry, but there's lots of birds. This was a 16 hour trip and we drove straight through the night. When I go to Canada, I do not want to sacrifice any time that I can spend in the field. Another gas stop on the way up. Uh, let's let the dogs out, go to the bathroom one more time. A couple hours, it'll be daylight. Hopefully we'll be at the border. Welcome to Canada. All right, so we made it through the border. We were in there for about an hour and a half and everything's good. So now we're gonna go up, we're gonna go to camp. We are going to probably scout a little bit, get our gear ready, and then we'll go out for an afternoon hunt. The day was young. We got situated at our camp and we talked to our host, Brian. We came up with a game plan for an afternoon hunt. We set up on a large slough that had a good number of birds on it. We had my dog pick it and we were all ready to hit the field. As Pika was on a retrieve, we had some birds come in right over the top of us. We took one of the birds and it dropped right in the decoy spread. This took Pickett off his game. He picked up the bird that had just fallen, but on the next bird, he lost his mark, so I had to step out, get to the point where I could handle him, and send him on a blind retrieve. Good boy, here. Neat slew, there's a bunch of birds on it. They got up, started buzzing around, we got a lot of shooting in. We probably could have shot a little bit better, but we did all right for the first trip. And I'm thinking that in another hour or two, once we get birds coming back after feeding, as well as once these guys get up and start moving around, it's gonna be phenomenal. Coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures, the afternoon in Canada wears on and the slew action continues. We'll also bring you a great canine tip around Lyme disease prevention. All this and more coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures. Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by Heavy Shot, Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism, Waterfall Wading Systems, Big Dog Mowers, Mech Shooting Sports, The Real Decoy and Foldem Gear, My Lime Test, Liberty Safe, Boucher Automotive, Conquest Sense, Ahern Mechanical and Fire Protection Contractor, Hadel's Game Calls, 
American Landmaster, Bradley Smoker, Camo Systems, Argo, and Four Rivers Layout Boats. Whether you're looking for a champion for the couch or the field, everyone deserves a soggy dog. For over 60 years, Mech Shooting Sports has been designing, building, and servicing the best shot shell reloaders in the world. Every machine is made with the quality and reliability you expect from Mech products, including the new clay target line. The Mech clay target machines deliver unrivaled precision and consistency all at a price you can afford. From the reloading bench to the field, Mech Shooting Sports is the brand you trust. Visit MechShootingSports.com. We wake early, set our decoys, then sit in single-digit temperatures all day. It's why Waterfall Waiting Systems is my waiter of choice. The system is designed to keep you warm in the coldest of weather, while also allowing for comfort and free movement. Other great features include the ammo holder, lined hand warmer, and boots with cinch-down buckles. Add in top-notch customer service, and it's clear why Waterfall Waiting Systems stands alone in the waiter market. Antler King Seeds and Attraction, growing bigger bucks and healthier deer for over 30 years. This segment of Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by these fine sponsors. This week we're with Phil from My Lime Test. So you guys have a great product for dogs and humans. The dog part though is something that really made a difference in Pickett's life. Yeah, we were uh, fortunate to be able to pick up uh, Pickett being Lyme positive, which was beneficial for you because you could get them on a treatment program early. Now, as far as the testing procedure, it's pretty simple. You guys send a packet and it's got all of the products that you need. Yep, has everything included in the kit. It's very simple, we'll show you how to use that, send it to our lab, we'll do the testing. Results come right back to you in about 10 business days. So it's been a year since Pickett tested positive and we put him on medication. We're actually gonna test him again right now. Step one, fill out the test order form. So then step two, Jeff, would be to uh, prep the dog's ear. Usually we recommend holding a warm compress against the inner part of the ear for about 30 to 60 seconds. That will increase blood flow to the ear. Step three would take one of the lancets that we provide in the kit. You wanna hold that lancet close to the dog's ear or right on top of it, push the lancet, You'll see a small drop of blood. You'll wipe away the first drop. Prep the micro sample collection device by opening all the way. You can leave the devices where they are. And then you're just gonna touch that device to the drop of blood. Once you have the sample devices completely filled, you just snap it together. Take the blood sample along with the test order form. You're gonna place it in this bag that we provide. It's important to include the desiccant, Jeff as it does help stabilize the sample during transport. Ziploc that closed. You're gonna put it in the prepaid envelope and then you're just dropping it in the USPS mailbox. If you wanna check out a product that will make a difference in your dog's life, we had Pickett tested, he was positive. It didn't show up in symptoms, so it hadn't actually affected his body yet. Check out My Lyme Test. Where would they go, Phil? You can visit our website, Jeff, at www.mylymetest.com. Don't worry, we've got you covered. So far, we've had good action on our slew hunt in the afternoon in Canada. Now, Pickett was performing at a high level. Our shooting could be a little bit better. And we were hoping that as the day wore on, more birds are gonna be returning from feeding in the fields. Pickett. 
here. Duck seven, down. here. Nice blue wing. It's uh, probably about an hour till dark and uh, things are starting to pick up a little bit so we got to get off our lazy seat here and uh, get back over in our spot. This hunt was a challenge. It was a big slew and the birds had lots of options. They also didn't want to get up due to some high wind. It made the hunting and filming alike very difficult. Now let's take you to a new segment for the season called Puppy Facts, brought to you by Soggy Acres Retrievers. Gestation of Labrador Retriever pups is about 63 days. When she's going into labor, a mother dog will typically stop eating, take to her whelping box, and begin to pant. Just like with humans, birthing can be a lengthy process. We think a new dog bed or a pig ear makes a great push present. We had a few groups that taunted us and swam by. It was a waiting game and we just needed them to get a little closer. Here. Well, I give it a college try. So our shooting wasn't perfect, but our first hunt of the year was coming to a close. Now, I can say that I looked over and a couple times Pickett looked a tad disgusted with us. With that said, we had a couple more opportunities afforded us before the end of the night, and we did not disappoint right here, that right dog. Here, right here. Hey, it's the end of a great day. First day in Saskatchewan, we shot quite a few ducks. We missed a few. Got ourselves warmed up. We're ready for the trip now. Hope you guys enjoyed this part of the show. Stay tuned for more High Flying Adventures. If you're looking for a puppy, training, or want to use one of our stud dogs, Contact us at SoggyAcres.com. B&W trailer hitches, adjustable, multiple ball sizes, completely stows away, and is 100% American made because the best adventures begin with towing. Soggy Acres Signature Lodge is open for business. Our lodge is located in central Wisconsin with several hundred acres of prime habitat. Book a waterfall and upland hunt with Jeff Fuller and the dogs of Soggy Acres Retrievers. Hunts at the lodge will be filmed and our guests will be part of the TV show Sporting Dog Adventures. If you're looking for a relaxing and unique opportunity, book a hunt with us today. The dogs and I would love to share the field with you. For over 60 years, Mech Shooting Sports has been designing, building, and servicing the best shot shell reloaders in the world. Every machine is made with the quality and reliability you expect from Mech products, including the new clay target line. The Mech clay target machines deliver unrivaled precision and consistency, all at a price you can afford. From the reloading bench to the field, Mech Shooting Sports is the brand you trust. Visit MechShootingSports.com. Here at Soggy Acres, we're long on work, but short on time. When it comes to my lawn, I want to spend more time enjoying it and less time mowing it. That's why I turn to Big Dog. From its handcrafted seat down to its fabricated deck, my Big Dog is quality built right here in the USA. And with an industry leading warranty and simple maintenance, this dog was bred to work. Make Big Dog part of your family. Big Dog Mower Company, always loyal, always ready. The bounty of the harvest is one reason we hunt. High Mountain Seasonings offers everything we need to make the most out of our meat, wild or domestic. To find High Mountain Seasonings in your area, 
go to himtnjerky.com. This segment of Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Welcome to this week's What's Cooking with Kate. Kate, what are we cooking today? We are making smoked pheasant with bacon in our Bradley smoker. This is gonna be something that is gonna turn out phenomenal. I am very hungry and it's gonna take quite a while. So what do we do? Uh, the reason it takes a while actually isn't just the smoking, it's we need to do a brine. Okay. Pheasant, probably more than other game, has a stereotype for being dry. This is really gonna help it retain its moisture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put two cups of cold water into a bowl and then just a teaspoon of salt mm -hmm. and just make sure that the salt dissolves properly. So now we just put the pheasant in? Yep, you've already cleaned it, you've already deboned it and prepped it. And then what we do with this is we're gonna just cover it and we're gonna leave it in the refrigerator for about four to six hours and that's where your real weight is. So it's been in the fridge, it's well brined, and now we're going to wrap it with our bacon. Okay, what else are we sticking on it besides bacon? We are going to sprinkle it with some black pepper and a little bit of basil. And actually, if you have fresh basil, that's even better. And if you don't like basil, you can actually leave that part out. Now. Now for the fun part. We're gonna wrap it in bacon. We're just gonna kind of tuck the ends in and just make like a little parcel out of it between the bacon and the pheasant. Pig meat pheasant. That's right. Just think, they never would have met. Well, they'll be good friends now in the smoker. All right, so we're all wrapped up. Now what? You've already got the smoker ready to go, so they're gonna pop into there for about two hours at 230 degrees. All right, let's go get this done. I'm hungry. So we are all done and they look beautiful. They're beautiful and they smell amazing. I cannot wait to dig in. So, I'll take the first one. Look part. how tender they are. That is awesome. Simple recipe. Very simple. And the smoker honestly makes it. So if you guys want a great recipe, you need to check this one out. That's this week's What's Cooking with Kate. And now back to the hunt. It's a beautiful morning out. We're up in Saskatchewan. Got up here yesterday. Basically no sleep, drove through the night. Got a little bit of sleep last night. Now we're going to a gadwall shoot. It's gonna be a water hunt, which Honestly, it's one of my favorites. I love hunting over water, so it should be great. I've got my dog Ruger along. It's the first time I've ever gonna hunt with Ruger. Hopefully he does well. We decided to hunt a small pond on our first morning in our Saskatchewan hunt. The birds were working well right out of the gate. Ruger was hitting the water hard after down ducks. Good boy, here. I worked with Ruger and steadiness prior to our trip. Now, this was paying off dividends as we had multiple birds down and we were keeping him at heel until we wanted him to go out and clean up the pond. Atta boy, here. Got him. Here. Good boy, here. Here. Hey, we're out here, we're on a small pond. There are a bunch of birds on it. A little late on the setup because we were trying to figure out where to go, but our buddy Brian is on a different pond. We're basically bouncing the birds back and forth. Talk about mixed bag. We've gotten widgeon, gadwall, mallards, and teal so far. A couple of geese flew over, but I think they're going to the fields to feed. But cool setup. First hunt I have with my dog Ruger. So just trying to figure out what makes him tick and become a good team with him. 
Coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures, we make a few adjustments on our early morning pond hunt with the hope of getting Ruger some more Canada waterfowl action. I've been training dogs since 1998. I love what I do, and I love sharing the incredible results with my clients. Soggy Acres has 23 dog-friendly acres, including three ponds, varying cover, plus kennels with both heat and air. Our property and proven training methods prepare the dog and handler as they head for the field. We also offer stud service for your own litters with the dogs you see right here on Sporting Dog Adventures TV. Raise your expectations. Contact Soggy Acres Retrievers. For over 60 years, Mex Shooting Sports has been designing, building, and servicing the best shot shell reloaders in the world. Every machine is made with the quality and reliability you expect from Mech products, including the new clay target line. The Mech clay target machines deliver unrivaled precision and consistency, all at a price you can afford. From the reloading bench to the field, Mech Shooting Sports is the brand you trust. Visit MechShootingSports.com. When Rommel was approached to accept the role of spokes dog for big dog mowers, he knew it was imperative to do his research. Rommel went straight to the source and personally toured the plant in Kansas. He met the people on the assembly line. He saw the importance of the American quality and pride put into these mowers. Rommel is proud to announce Big Dog as the mower for your family or commercial needs. This message is approved by Rommel, a canine smarter than your average political candidate. Quiet Cat Electric Bikes. Sign up for the sweepstakes giveaway at quietcat.com. This segment of Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Heavy Metal from Heavy Shot is a superior round. It's got two different size shot. It actually has what would be listed as BB, if that's what your shell has, in a steel. Then it has two sizes smaller of pure heavy shot. This gives you great killing power at a greater distance. We spent some time shooting this on paper, and it's got superior patterning ability, and you get more pellets on target because of the duplex load. Now that's a pattern. This has been the shot shell that I've used for the last several years. We've used it on waterfowl and upland, as well as turkey. If you want superior knockdown power at a greater distance and cleaner kills, check out Heavy Metal by Heavy Shot. So our morning is dead calm. We have no ripple on the water. So we're gonna actually get one of our real decoy shakers out. We've got a folding gear butt duck. We're gonna put those out so we can put a little ripple on when the birds come so it looks a little more natural. You got him? Ruger. It was a large pond, and we couldn't cover it with just two hunters. Now, we stayed on our calling, we had our motion decoys out, and we waited for lulls when we'd send out Ruger to pick up the down birds. Ready? Cut them. Yeah, the other one's flopping, but it's not going anywhere. Here. Here. That was a good wad, man. Cut him. Boy. Yeah, we were on them. Yeah. 
Kill me. Ooh. He got it. Good boy, here. One more. The hunt was winding down. We only needed one more bird. We just needed the right opportunity to present itself. That was all right. <laughs> That's a wrap, baby. Hey, we're at the end of a great hunt. First hunt with Ruger. He did great. You know, you got to learn what your dog is about. He's seven years old, but I've never run him before other than in training. So it was interesting for me to learn about him as a dog and become a partner with him in the field. He did a great job. We got 16 birds down. We actually have just been sitting here watching birds work. We, heck, we probably could have shot another 16 birds, but uh, it was a lot of fun. We got Sean Wozniak here from Mech Shooting Sports. He's really having a good time. He's getting to see Canada for the first time. If you guys have not come up to Canada for waterfowl hunting, you have to. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Stay tuned for more high flying adventures. Next week on Sporting Dog Adventures, we're at Soggy Acre Signature Lodge on a whitetail rut hunt. We get to see what our property has in store for us during the peak of whitetail activity. All this and more coming up next week on Sporting Dog Adventures. Remember to check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. This year, our social media contest is only on YouTube. You have to be a subscriber to win. If you're a subscriber, you can get some great prizes from our sponsors. Closed captioning is brought to you by Hadel's Game Calls. Everyone, welcome Memphis Bell to Sporting Dog Adventures. Memphis is out of our Lucy line. Uh, Lucy had one daughter that we kept. Her name was Callie and Memphis is out of that line. So, she'll be the new show dog on the show. She's gonna be the entertainer. Thank you.